Welcome, my name is John. This is the 143 JKRD channel. That doesn't really mean anything, so don't worry about it. But I am going to a junkyard today to facilitate the mounting of my roof basket. It's kind of a no-name brand, four or five foot long, you know, pretty prototypical roof basket. However, if you have an OBS Ford Bronco with the fiberglass roof on the back or the plastic roof or whatever it is, there's not a lot of options. So I'm gonna go find some rusty junk at the junkyard, hopefully kind of cobble it together and mount a roof basket to the back of my uh, top here. The purpose being primarily to carry my, my spare tire. Everybody who's gonna freak out about raising the center of gravity of the vehicle or a variety of concerns, rest easy. This car is very heavy, so I'll probably be fine. And I don't plan on tipping over. So it's, it, again, should, should be fine. So I'm making the quick two minute drive over to Rick's house. Gonna pick him up, kind of my wingman, in this this little crazy project, or basically all of my crazy projects, Rick has a hand in. Usually he's the calming hand of wisdom that tells me, no, you're very foolish for doing that. We should really do it this professional way. So I appreciate that. So, oh gosh, <laughs> getting old is. Yeah, oh, do you have the tape measure? I do. Perfect. <laughs> nice. So here we are at the junkyard, BNR Auto Wrecking. And what I'm looking at doing is going from this seam here, that's solid, that's not, to that. So we want a roof rack to go from here over to there. Let's see how this gets measured. Okay, that's easy enough. So it's 48 to the uh, inside the inside. Okay. All right, here we are. And right, ah, right there. There we go. Let's uh, let's go see what we got here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't want that. You look at the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, uh, this isn't a steam powered phone, I'm out of my element. <laughs> so we still got one screw there that's stripping out and does not want to cooperate. We'll see if I can get that out here real quick. Otherwise we're ripping this thing off. Yeah, it's not, it ain't happening. You want to step back a minute, Rick? I'll yeah. kind of surf this thing as the, the car jiggles. Welcome to my junkyard experience. There you go. Whoa. Get, a, get a run at it. Yeah. So, we've had a casualty. No, not really. All things being equal. All right. There we go. Done and done. So, here's the damage. One Phillips screwdriver, this, this, and now I get to get down. I'm gonna duke, dukes of hazard it right off the front of this. I'm not really. <laughs> <some tools. laughs> I'll give you the tools. Here you go. It'll keep uh, us from going to the emergency room to have a screwdriver <laughs> removed. Yeah, screwdriver ectomy. All right, there's no way I can film this because I need to perform like a cat right now and jump down in that door. So. Yeah. All right, success. Yep. Roadside success. Nice. All right, we'll huck those fellas in and be on our way. See in this hole right here in the sunlight, the fiberglass in here is pretty thick. I'm guessing that's about a half inch. If you can see in the, again, in the hole. No, oh, there's a shadow there, maybe there. So that's about a half inch thick. I think we're just gonna go with bolts on these. So I'm headed back to the hardware store, wish me luck. You'll see this is a fail, but again, this car had a bunch of holes dri drilled in it already. If you'll see over here, this is my prior patching. So. 
I'm, this is not a pristine top by any measure. So I went out and picked up these quarter 20 screws. This part right here is like a half inch thick. So that's kind of where I'm going to. Quickly, I'll, I don't know if you can see this, but right there's the screw. I'm probably gonna put one down here uh, where my finger is just toward the end to kind of hold that down. I've shortened the, the track and then the bars fit into the track. So we'll, again, we'll see how we go. This is kind of what it's gonna look like. Obviously, again, I've got the awesome Earl Scheib paint job and it's, you know, it kind of is what it is. It's just thrown together. I paid uh, $30-ish for the roof rack, which is a couple Yakima bars. And this is the channel off of, a, I think a 2001 Ford Explorer. Seems to be pretty, pretty level. And so my hope is, is that I'm gonna bring you back when I've got the, I've got some RTV, some black silicone that I'm gonna put in into these screw holes to seal up the roof and screw everything down. I've just got, it's gonna be boring. I'm gonna be measuring and marking holes and drilling holes and stuff like that. So I'll bring you back when we're a little closer. Back, there she is in all her glory. I got both bars in here that are watch me rip this right off here. But anyway, got that. I think I'm gonna throw the roof basket out and start making some plans. These, uh, these bar racks like this are pretty common in my area. And this is in fact a Yakima rack with Yakima bars. I think they're 50 something inches long. They just slot into a factory, in this case, factory Ford Explorer roof rack. As you can see, I've conducted a waterproof test. You can still see the aftermath of me washing the car. Everything looks good inside. So we'll look inside here. If you can see through the tiny, tiny screen that I'm looking at, it doesn't look like there's any water dripping. So I would call that a pre preliminary success in one of my goofy projects. So again, could you install these roof bars better? Yes, absolutely. Anyone on the planet, I would say that you want to stick to drilling into this, not that. And I like the track idea because it distributes the load. The tracks are installed with quarter 20 hardware. Well, quarter 20 bolts. I bought one inch ones to go through the fiberglass. And then uh, obviously the Yakima bars have their own proprietary, oh, I don't know, their Allen wrenches that you put them on with. But I think she looks pretty good, all things being equal. <sighs> I messed around with a couple different plans on this roof basket attachment to the load bars of the roof rack. I You've probably seen it if, if you're watching this video. I fabbed up some mounts, just some rough stuff. Then I got to noodling it around. And I think what I'm gonna do, I've got it installed at this point. I, I didn't make an installation video. As most of my stuff goes, don't do what I do. Just uh, enjoy the content. So this is the the roof rack. These are the channels off of, I don't know, 99 to 2001 Ford Explorer. I used half inch hardware on the, on the rooftop. It's, let's see if I can get in there on that. There's a screw right here that you can see at the end of my finger. Those are quarter 20 screws. There's five each side, 10 total. The biggest thing on trying to install any sort of roof track or anything to a fiberglass Bronco top is don't drill into that because it's dead space in there. Drill into this, not that. And it's super simple. So this seam where my, you know, my touch screen's not working, it's broken. So right where my thumb is pointed is a seam in the roof. On the inside, you can see it's just paper thin. I would not recommend putting anything on that. And I did actually drill a hole in, in this. That's how I know it's a mistake. However, before anybody freaks out, this, this is an old cop car. It has plenty of roof holes that I've kind of patched up in the past. So I don't know, you can't see it from my house. So what am I, what am I gonna do? These load bars just slot in. They're super solid. I took some one inch U-bolts, just standard hardware. It's bolted down. There's a kind of a plastic coating on these load bars. So we'll see how this goes. If it starts to rattle or squeak, I'll probably come up with something different. 
And at the end of the day, it's mainly for my spare tire and maybe a couple tools. I did slot the whole thing off to the off to the right. It does overhang the back. However, it doesn't overhang the back of the vehicle, just the roof line. So I think I'm going to leave it because I want to maximize the space. However, if I do choose in the future to shorten it, I can do some combination of cutting here. You know, basically cut this section out right here and do that. But I, I kind of prefer it like it is for right now.